Let's see. Let's have a look there. I want to see what from the light what that looks like. Yeah. Anyways, I just cut the overcut. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna just put that all over. Actually, I forgot my fault. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, pork fat, and I'm just gonna rub that all over it. We, we would usually um, use beef fat, but I ran out of um, yeah. beef lard. And that's totally fine. Yeah, it doesn't we, really matter. Yeah, yeah. We, we make our own um, <laughs> beef lard and pork lard. Alright, so that's good. It's FYI. And then salt and pepper. This is a 30-day a 30, a 30 age steak, so um, yeah, it just, it's pretty thick. It's, a, it's an inch oh, and sorry. a half. It's an, it's an inch and a half, so it, it needs a lot more than you would do with a regular th thickness stick. Sear it for how long? A minute and a half to two minutes the side it's going to sear. Okay. I'm not using tongs because we're outside anyway. That's it's here two minutes. We're gonna do two minutes on the other side. And we're in a pan. Uh, for a high-end steak, like I'm not opposed to doing it on a grill, but you can get a better sear on a flat surface versus just a grill. A grill has spaces, right? It's not saying you won't get the heat in between, and you can get a good grill mark on there, but I don't know, for, you want to keep all those good uses in, it's just really nice to do it on the pan, and you can do a few other things. Ah, uh, sure. Like we're going to do with this. Yeah, we do that. And if you want to do a saute some vegetables, you can use the pan. It has all the juice and all that nutrients, right? Yeah, it's true, right? That's yeah. a good idea. But for today, we're going to do rosemary and butter. Put it down to about medium heat, and then we're going to do the, the finishing of it. It'll take about another four or five minutes. That'll give us medium wrap. Did go brown, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. 
That's good flavor, so don't worry about that. might be a little high but that's okay just that's what it is it cooks a lot quicker that's I only done a few aged steaks like this but uh yeah, they do for at least 10, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 and, minutes and between 10 to 15 minutes is the mm -hmm. rule of thumb well this is an inch and a half it's five it's five minutes an inch thickness Can I lift the tent? And then, like the juices, like all the juices, all the flavor will go back, right, to the meat, and it's gonna be yummy. Okay, see you guys. All right, Medina. All right, so let's cut this baby up. So I'm gonna go against the grain. So we're gonna cut along this way. So, as I said, it might be a little more than medium rare, but it's, yeah, it looks a little more medium, <laughs> yeah, I thought it yeah, actually, wow, medium well, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not what I was hoping for, but it cooked super quick, it, that probably cooked in four minutes, five minutes max, mm -hmm. so, and, and <clears throat> We've left it and it's still juicing. It's crazy. So we'll just put that and pour that juice over top. Let me see. Let's have a look there. I just want to see what from the light what that looks like. Yeah, anyways. I just cooked overcooked. Yeah. The lighting on the steak right now is very white. Yeah. If we take the lighting off the steak, it actually looks medium rare. Medium rare. Um, so, I don't know if you can do that with the camera, honey. Can you do that? Take the light off the steak? Oh, yeah. 